Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about how to build your project so that it can run in a web browser. Here's my Unity project. It's all done and ready to go, so I'm going to build it. This process is the same on Mac and Windows. Today I'm going to be using a Windows computer. So first I'm going to go up to the File and then Build Settings. This will bring up a new window called Build Settings and I can add in the scenes that I want to be in my game. Right now I have only one scene, and if I wanted to add another scene, I can click Add Open Scenes. That'll add the scene that's open in the editor right now. I can also go to the Project View and drag in New Scenes if I want to add more. I'm going to make sure that WebGL is selected as the platform. If you don't have WebGL installed, then wait till the end of the video and we'll show you how to install it then. Next, we have to make sure we have a folder for the project to build into. What I usually do is I make a new folder on the desktop of my computer. This way it's easy to find. Then in Unity, I open Build Settings and I click Build. It asks me where do I want to build this project. So I'm going to click on the desktop and find the Turkey Challenge folder that I just made. There it is, Turkey Challenge. Select Folder. And then it starts building the project. Don't interrupt it while it's building. It's a big process taking your Unity project and building it into something that can run in a web browser. This is going to take a few minutes. Now that the project's done building, I can go down here. It says build completed with the result of succeeded in 27 seconds. But we're not done yet. We have to actually put this on the internet somewhere for us to be able to use. So I'm going to go to netlify.com slash drop. This is where we can host our game. It's pretty easy to set up, but you do need to make sure that you're signed into an account. If you're not signed in, go ahead and make an account. You will need an email address. So if you don't have one, ask your parents to help you. It's free. It's just a way of hosting your Unity game on the internet so that anyone can play it. Once you're all signed in, go ahead and drag that folder that has your build in it into the spot that says drag and drop. It'll upload and create a website where you can actually run your Unity game. There we go. It works. Excellent. Now we can take this and we can post this to Hackingtons. You can submit this just like any other project in Hackingtons. Now, if you make updates to your project, you don't have to create a whole new website, you can actually update this link in Netlify. If you go to netlify.com, you can go to sites and you can see all of the different websites that you have. These are all my different Unity games that I've made. I can click on my most recent one. It gave it a random name that I can change if I want. And if I want to update it, I can go to deploys. Here, I would just drag my new build folder and drag it in and it'll update. You don't have to make a new website every time you update your game. Sometimes your build might not work, or you might have a problem building. Let's talk about some of the common issues that come up. Say, for example, you don't have WebGL installed, it won't let you build a WebGL game. If this happens, open up Unity Hub and go to Installs. Then find the version of Unity that you're using. In this case, my turkey test project is using Unity version 2021.1. I go to installs, I find that version, and I can add modules. Here I can select what things do I need to have in this installation of Unity. In this case, I just want WebGL support and Windows build support. Once I have those, I'll notice that it has little icons here, and it's ready to go. The other issue that can come up build your game, it uploads to the internet, but when you go to play it, it won't load. And then if you inspect the page, you might even see some errors in the console. So we're gonna change some of the build settings. Open up build settings and then go to player settings. This will bring up a new window. Make sure that you're looking at the player settings here and then go to publishing settings in this menu and go to compression format and set it to be disabled. This will make sure that when you build your project, you won't run into this problem. If you have any other problems building your project, just let us know in the messages. Let's see what you can build in Unity. Uh -huh.